Hello everyone, welcome to the another very important session. Today we are going to talk about electromagnetic waves. So if you are doing the preparation for the upcoming CSR, Net Physics exam, Gate Physics exam, GIST, TIFR or any other related exam, you will find today's session discussion very 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 much helpful and that's really important but just in very less time you will learn a technique and the way which can make it very easy for you to solve the most popular type of questions and which are most expected ones in your upcoming exams so easy for you so let's continue the discussion and let me just tell you that important thing today and don't forget to share it with your friends today's video right if you uh, want to help your friends or somebody you know who is doing the preparation for any of these exams you can share it with them and let them know about this important trick okay now let's go ahead with the discussion so guys i know most of the students find it difficult to prepare and to know about the important concepts of electromagnetic theory but this way i will try to make them clear to you by having a small discussion about these important things so firstly i'm going to talk about the maxwell's equations uh, for the electromagnetic wave in vacuum okay or you can call it in the free space so you just need to prepare these ones that's delta dot e is equal to zero delta dot t is equal to zero delta cross e is equal to minus delta b over delta t then next one is delta cross b is equal to mu naught epsilon naught delta a e over delta t so simple and easy two equations are talking about divergence two are talking about curl you just have to take care of the right hand side expression a little bit okay that's it once you will prepare it i want you to do one change here if you want to write the uh, maxwell's equations okay for what when you are going to consider let's say the electromagnetic waves okay and you want to consider that what will be the uh, equations you will have corresponding to the wave solution so in the wave solution you will have the wave propagation vector or the wave vector k you will also have the omega angular frequency so what will be the maxwell's equations now when you want to make these changes or you make these changes how your maxwell's equations will be changing so for that case if you want to relate these equations with the wave vector with the angular frequency because those things will be helping you a lot to work on the questions we will also try to include some questions in our upcoming sessions so what you have to do you just have to re replace delta with iota k and you just have to replace uh, the other term I'm going to tell you that's going to be delta over delta t with the negative iota omega. So here as well as here you just have to replace them. You are going to get your other equations in terms of k omega and the other parameters. So let's do it. I'm going to get the first one as k dot e is equal to 0 simplified form k dot b is equal to 0 k is the propagation wave vector then the third one oh delta i need to replace it with iota so the third one will become i am going to write it here k cross e is equal to that's negative negative positive iota got simplified omega okay you simply just have a look at this what it is going to give you next so it will be giving you omega b next one that will become k cross b is equal to mu naught epsilon naught omega e so you can see how simply you have got the new equations and how much simple and easy it is for you if let's say you want to find b you may have seen this equation k cross e divided by omega gives you the magnetic field and if you want to get the e when the b is given to you take these ones in the denominator also we know that uh, 1 over square root mu naught epsilon naught that is equal to c or v so you can even replace that way like this part and you can even simplify it this way okay please tell me if in case there is anybody having any doubt we can talk about it but otherwise that's how you can do the normal simplification also guys one thing we have 
not included that was delta over delta t will have the negative sign in it so you will have a negative sign at this place because of this negative iota omega right so that's how you are just going to get that expression tell me if in case you are going to have any doubt otherwise based on these equations we are going to have so many questions in the previous years you can practice them or i'll be showing them here in the session in upcoming video okay so basically guys if you got to know about it it's really important like it's something which everybody needs to know if they are doing the preparation for any of the exams related to physics because you can expect the questions based on it and the trick the way we have talked about it it will be making it so easy for you to prepare this part and to have the confidence about it that you know it very well without any confusion and without having a doubt in the expressions so just prepare this thing this way i hope it's going to be helpful also guys right now we are going to keep it this much so i'm just going to show you one slide related to unacademy uh, subscription so we are having the unacademy plus iconic and the light subscription available on unacademy so depending on which one you find more beneficial for yourself you can take that subscription you can see what are the benefits you will get if you will take an academy plus subscription iconic or the light subscription all the details have been shown here on the screen also guys whatever you find more beneficial for yourself you can take that subscription whenever you will go ahead to take the subscription use and apply the code anjali a live as mentioned here on the screen to get the discount in the total subscription amount let me know if in case you are going to have any question or any doubt you can mention it in the comments i'll be explaining it yes the videos are quite less time taking like you can quickly go through them you can get to know about what we are talking about uh, there is a purpose for it because i don't want to make them quite lengthy uh, that may be difficult for someone to uh, go through a whole video if it will be very much lengthy so i want to keep it like not too lengthy so that everybody can check them out and that way we will be doing more and more discussion even it will be easy for you to understand those points in in the time or whatever content we are discussing at the moment okay so i hope it's clear don't miss the next video because there i'll be talking about more questions and more points related to this discussion so yeah if you found it helpful like the video if you want to uh, uh watch more such discussion for your upcoming exam in the part to success series you can subscribe this channel that is mission and physics exam and that's how guys you will be able to uh, know about many other important things too okay and share it with your friends too also guys one more thing whenever you will go ahead to take the subscription the unacademy subscription use and apply the code anjali a live to get the discount in the total subscription amount and in upcoming days so many new courses by the top educators will be starting on unacademy which will be helping you a lot to take your preparation to the next level along with that it is going to be really important whatever discussion we do in the sessions in the different courses classes and once you take the subscription you will be able to join and attend the classes by all the top educators we are having on an academy whenever you will take the subscription use and apply the code anjali a live to get the discount thank you everyone for watching this video till then